This is Too Long for a Voice Note, a podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. Presented by Claire and Enzo. Our podcast is produced in London. Some conversations are just too long for a voice note. Hey, he's Enzo. And she's Claire. And this is Too Long for a Voice Note. Welcome back, Hello. guys, to a new episode of Too Long for a Voice mm-hmm. Note. What are we doing this week, Enzo? Well... This week we have like a new idea. We want to try something new, kind of like a new type of like a segment. A segment, right? We want to create video, like, uh, a video that talks about like shows on Netflix that you should watch in March. Mm-hmm. Basically, our shows that we're watching on Netflix. We're gonna like re- give you a recommendation, talk about it. So you know, if you're looking for something to watch, yeah, here you go. There's March f- recommendations on Netflix. We'll Netflix. Call it. That's something and along this line. If you guys enjoy it, please do remember to give this video a thumbs up, and that will Subscribe encourage and us share. Yeah, to yeah. make more of them. And so, we'll do an April one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah, if you feel like it's kind of like you would mm. like to hear or to like know from us, or kind of like if you really think like the recommendations are yeah. worth it yeah, <laughs> in any way, exactly. let us know so we can keep doing yeah. these type of videos. Because I think you know we we like a, a lot of like TV, very visual. Yes. Uh, yeah. Human. <laughs> As, no. I mean, we are all are, but you know, we really like movies and films and mm-hmm. things. And sometimes, I guess, we don't have the enough space to talk about them during yes. the podcast yeah. because it's like, why we'll talk about just yeah. one thing? Yeah. Kind of. Anyway, this will be a space for us to share. Mm-hmm. And if you like it, please keep watching and let us know. So Definitely. yeah. So, so I will start. So. I have I have some things that I think you guys should watch in March. Okay. Also, maybe you too as well. Tell us. Mm-hmm. I need some new recommendations to be honest. Like. Actually, I was watching this show of um, Jonathan Van Ness. Mm. It's called Getting Curious mm. with Jonathan Van Ness. Jonathan Van Ness is, if you don't know who's him, he's kind of well, he's a celebrity now at this point. He's like, um, he's one of the five guys from the Queer Eye, the show. He got really big after um, the show. So yeah. he has his own podcast. He has his hairline. He's a hairdresser and a stylist. Okay. So, and you know, if you follow him, he's very like, he's like a really cool, funny person. Yeah, he's he's like, he's non-binary. He's very open. Yeah. He's very like, I don't know. He has such a good energy yeah. about him. And he has a podcast, which is called Getting Curious with Jonathan Van Ness. Mm-hmm. And the podcast became like a, such a popular show. Okay. And then after that, he got a book deal. And mm-hmm. he's like a tour with a book, which is from, come from the podcast. But now the podcast has a Netflix show, which I think is out, out my goal. It would be so nice to oh have. Oh my gosh. A, you know. Too long for a voice was not Netflix. Netflix series. Uh, imagine. We were born for that. I swear to God. Imagine. We were born. <laughs> but it's kind of cool because it's literally it's the podcast, but he managed to have a Netflix show out of base on the same thing the podcast Amazing. is about. Like, I think it's interesting because Jonathan, he explores like, anything that kind of it's interesting or comes to the mind of okay. of, of they um so i really like the idea of putting this on a netflix show because it's kind of like the visual side mm. of the podcast so kind of way so for about? example i found really interesting i think it's the first or second episode he's talking about bugs 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 overall okay. so he has like because he's very comical he's very like um quirky in a way yeah, yeah. kind of the episode is kind of like are bugs gorgeous or not so okay, he's like, yeah. I think he wants to like, because normally we, it comes from the idea of like, we all, we don't really like bugs, mm-hmm, overall mm-hmm. bugs, because we think they're a bit ugly yeah. or they're a bit like nasty or whatever. So he went to kind of like explore in depth everything about bugs, mm-hmm. how they work, how they live, what they give to the planet, blah, blah, blah. So one of the interesting thing about that episode, and I think that's why it's a good show, because it's kind of like educational mm. but in a really different point of view and okay. i think it's for the whole family as well right it's yeah. not it's not doesn't matter what age are you or whatever Cute. i think it's really nice how it's done as well yeah, yeah. can i also if you have comedy it's there mm-hmm. so in this episode which i found really interesting he went to talk with this bio biologist and i think it's etomologist mm-hmm. which are the person who studies the insects and bugs okay. and plants yeah. like, things like that so basically, this woman is kind of like, um, it's a doctor, and she works, I think it's like the National National History Museum of New York or something, mm-hmm. I don't remember exactly, but what I found really interesting, she's kind of like, obviously, the only female in this uh, field, field. Yeah. and she says something like, you know, there's also like sexism between the okay. study of species, species as well, okay. as we know, like, uh, if it's a disease or something, like women are not as study as men mm. it happens with insects as well oh. so she decided for herself to kind of like her studies or her like main thing is kind of study how like insects female insects 
how they work, how they, and what they add to the nature and the process of how our life is. And she's making like great like discoveries mm. because no surprise, um, there's not been enough studies of female bugs and insects because okay. all the biological or whatever, blah, 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 blah the circle, bugs, are, that yeah. only looks at the guy bugs the guy because bugs. they're only the guy bugs, <laughs> the guy <laughs> because there are men behind this yeah. only. So typical thing, right? Yeah. The same as in medicine, like yeah. always men are more yeah. studied than women because less women, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. blah, blah. So what, there's a few interesting things there. I don't know, I think it's a very... Um, entertaining and you learn a lot so also watch another episode which is about like the transgender non-binary identity it's kind of like a cool exploring it's an identity exploration show but kind of makes you feel reflect and learn mm-hmm. a lot mm-hmm. so another episode i think is very cool yeah. about like eating like um also eating bugs and okay. like insects okay. how it's the future as well yeah, blah blah, blah, yeah. blah so i definitely watch that that sounds really really good it is really like a feel-good show and because remind us of the name again it's that? getting curious with uh, Jonathan Van Ness. So okay. we're gonna put here okay, like yeah. um, we'll put like a, mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. list of everything in. It's That's kind of like cute. short. I mean, I think it's like twenty-five or thirty minutes episodes. So it's very well edited, very mm-hmm. fun. It so, kind of sounds similar to the Goop series, but I guess it's something, very different vibe something. But it's come more from him. Yeah. Because you know, I don't think when Goop, it when, when it was that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so me with Gwyneth but you know this seems very personal but also feels personal because it comes from his podcast yes, so you yeah. know it's kind of like a good... well Netflix if you're watching uh, mm-hmm. two beautiful places here that to be honest to be on when I watched this I was like that's what we need like mm-hmm. a Netflix show out of our podcast imagine the things we could do we can talk about people it's a oh, very good gosh, show I think yeah. you will learn a lot and even okay, a very like you. And it's not like preachy, which yeah. is good. It's not like yeah. you're going to learn today. It's not that vibe. It's just him being curious. Yeah, like exactly. Being curious, yeah. Stuff. So okay. it's cool. So that's my recommendation for sure for March. You should watch it. I think it's Love only one it. season. It's kind of thing. It was released last month. So Okay. Mm-hmm. I have a recommendation. What are you watching, Claire? Well, I'm watching something which I feel that everyone will enjoy. Yeah. Men, women. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's called Toy Boy. Oh yes, Toy Boy. Mm-hmm. So Tell us don't... more, Claire. Why are you watching Toy Boy? Just you know to practice my Spanish. Oh uh-huh, yeah, it, because it's know? a Spanish show, right? Yeah. yeah. So Toy Boy is a Spanish show. So the second series has just come out onto Netflix now. Which yeah. We're watching it now. I right? started. Season yeah, two. yeah, season two. Yeah. But it's about male strippers. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but actually, it's like it's quite well. The main guy has but this is not a spoiler or anything mm-hmm. but he was um kind of like wrongly convicted of a of a murder, murder yeah he wakes up as you do mm-hmm. on a boat <laughs> with a burning body there <laughs> and then goes as you do person. yeah <laughs> happened to me last week um and then he has to like figure out that it's about him finding his innocence um, so that's kind of the story to yeah, it, yeah, yeah. but of course, like the guys are. I it, you do want to know, like I feel like I'm defending it, but of course the guys are. It's kind of like a telenovela vibes, a bit so opera. A bit. But it's entertaining. And it's kind of like, uh, you know, you really want to know what's happening. You do want to know. And it's season two, and it's still you're wondering what's actually happening. I mean, it's many layers there. It's there a bit stra- very strange, but I think it's very entertaining. Yeah, watching as and well. And there's always like a really great um, stripper scene. <laughs> so, For no reason. For literally no... They, the themes they come up with. <laughs> yeah, what was amazing. your favourite in season one? Um... I, I, I watched it. I, 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 I watched that during the pandemic. Yeah, I, guess. I don't remember. Franco and I just watched it. Yeah, you just so watched it. Yeah, fresh, but... it's kind of like because basically there's these characters that are like uh, six guys or something yeah. that they work in the strip club, right? Yeah. And the owner, it's oh like uh, you're uh, me and Franco's uh, personal obsessed favorite. Obsessed with. <laughs> so he owns the place, yeah. but he also dances with yes, the guys, yeah. right? And he yeah, he like, creates the choreography and stuff like that. And yeah. he's got his own drama going on, and then we've got the main guy. Yeah, yeah. He's like trying to kind of figure out stuff. The lawyer, the lady yeah. lawyer, the lady lawyer. She's as well. also a money heist the actress. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and it's then, very yeah. intense as well, but also I think it's a bit inclusive. You know, for a soap opera kind yeah. of thing, or like this, it is very inclusive. <laughs> yeah. like, there's different ethnicities there's a guy that he's um mute mute yeah, yeah, he, yeah he cannot speak but he understands very well it's true there's a I, guy that he's like kind of like um 
Oh, the the boy, uh, the son, the, the son. son of the main lady. Yeah, he's, I think um, maybe he's. Uh, we don't know if he's gay or not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's kind of gay, gay, but yeah. yeah, I think it's, I think yeah. there's something more to his character. I feel okay. Like yeah. maybe some uh, like identity it, thing. Like maybe also like mental health stuff. They talk mental about health. A yeah, bit. yeah. But it is just kind of like I wouldn't say it's feel good, but it's like generally like if you want to just relax. If you want to kind of like uh, yeah. check out, check out, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically, you want to check out, you can but watch honestly, it. Honestly, when Franco and I yeah. watched it, it was like, yeah, <laughs> take it off, take it, take it. Now, but it, the thing funny. is, it's not as. It's not as shallow as it sounds, yeah. as a thing. It sounds really shallow. But it's also very very dramatic. But I think, yeah. like, I don't remember that well season one, because I just started watching season two. And actually, they have some good moments visually. And maybe I think this season they have more, they got more They've money. they got more money, you can And tell. there's some, like, shots and things that are actually really good. It's kind of, like, mm. very, like, well done. Kind of, like, you can tell there's a budget there. Yeah. So it's kind of, like, it's not, like, a shitty show, no. like, I would say. Completely. And one yeah. thing I would say as well is, I think mm -hmm. you you learn a bit about Spanish, modern day Spanish culture through that mm -hmm. show, I think, because it's, it's in like, um, what town is it? It's like uh, Malaga or something. It's, I, like not, um, it's not like Madrid or I Barcelona think it's Malaga. or something like yeah, that. I think it's it's like very, and obviously they had like a massive recession, so they're mm -hmm. kind of talking about True. that. And like, it does give you a window, like unlike something like Money Heist, which is very, yeah. it's not really about that. It's yeah, quite yeah. like, not fantasy, but you know what I mean, whereas this mm -hmm. is very like realistic in a way. It makes you kind of like, give you like a Understand understanding that, yeah yeah and i can practice my uh, mm -hmm. that's that a really that's a, mm -hmm. that's that's a good I justify it. <laughs> yeah that's a good <laughs> good justification for that <laughs> so that's what i've been watching Toy Boy. Yeah. good i think i have another mm -hmm. one more recommendation which is not at, as light as Toy Boy, but i have i watched this movie called baby teeth mm -hmm. and it, i think it's from 2019 or something but it just popped up in my netflix uh, uh, list the other day it's a very interesting show i think it pops out because it's kind of ones that you look at the poster and it's like grabs your attention. It's kind of like this girl with this blue wig and an angle. It's kind of like very funky. And basically, um, uh, there's no spoilers, I guess, for the story. But um, basically, it's this girl that she has cancer. And she randomly meets like this kind of like guy that is very into alcohols and drugs and it's kind of like a homeless but not mm. and she met him like in the middle of like a train station or something like that and that changed her life in many ways but what i found interesting about this movie i think it's very like emotional and there were many moments that i feel like i like i wanted to cry really? literally it's really really like deep it's kind of like very sensitive story and i think what i found interesting is how because it's the story also of the parents of the girl and how they are dealing with the fact that the, their do daughter has cancer mm. and how the relationship is being affected okay. through this like yeah. whole situation. Even though they are like a privileged family and they have money, yeah. that he's a therapist and all of that. So it's kind of like a very. It's a really good dialogue. It's very like emotional and you can see like all the stage of the girl she going through. It kind of like um, she's like in her teens so it's very but it's very good like um if you want to watch like a movie with like really good shots and like a lot of emotion around mm. i think it's very well rated also in rotten tomatoes and okay. like imdb it's like a really really good movie um i really like it it's really like it has many layers i think it has um it's a, it, interesting like how they portrayed uh someone with cancer it's kind of not, not, I, I felt it was not the typical portrayed of a person that's going through this process okay. of being sick. I think it's very like, I don't know, it has like a very mm, interesting... Like point. she's not a victim kind of thing. She's more... Definitely not. It's Well, it's not about that necessarily, I guess, but it's more like how she deals with that and how she finds kind of like hope and a strength to keep going. But mm -hmm. it's not cheesy at all, that's the thing. It's yeah. very like rough. So this is a film, not a It's theory, a film, a it's film. a film. Okay. But it's really easy to watch and it's really beautiful visually as well. I really, mm. really like it. I think it's a really good I'll film. I'll watch that, Baby yeah. Teeth. Baby Teeth, yeah. Okay. It's very, very interesting. And the characters are really good as well. So I think it's definitely like a movie you should watch. And also the the I think the director is a woman, it's Australian. Okay. I don't know, I think I don't know I'm not sure if it's based on like in a book or something. Mm. Because I think it is. But um, but yeah, it's a really good recommendation from cool. the watch. Like a kinda of like a serious movie but not it's not super draining, it's more like emotional, I guess. Mm. So so yeah, definitely maybe good. it. Yeah. These are a recommendations to what to watch on Netflix in March. Yeah. So please let us know if you like this section so we can like mm. make it better or make things like suggestions. Or if you want us to kinda of, like make another 
tops and things. Yeah, or like, talk about different things or, or yeah. maybe what music we're loving or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, we, listen, we, can, we can do like what we listen in That March. would be fun, right? Or maybe we the... can do a... Um, Things that we're loving each month. We can expand. I like it. I like but again, it. please tell us with a thumbs up if you like these ideas. Or if or you're if like, not, if you're like, guys, drop just, it. Please, just get, a, get a normal job. <laughs> something like that. Literally. But um, tell us in the comments what shows you've been yeah. loving. And uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, everyone. See you, soon. See Bye, you. Guys. Bye.